Hey guys, hi. This is Radha Krishna. Welcome to my channel. And today's video is going to be on TLE visualization. All right. So this is another space or science related video, and it is also a small fun project for you to actually work on something related to satellites and understand what is actually happening and maybe study more okay so this is a very basic visualization of a satellite so what is a tle and what is a, a orbit visualization all of that will be talking in this video but in the last video as i've already told there are multiple orbits low earth orbits geostationary orbits molnia orbits and then uh, all uh, elliptical orbits uh, circular orbits and then su sun synchronous orbits so on and so forth so the multiple types of classification of orbits and today what we are going to do is we're going to make a plot like this or make a real i mean uh, calculation of where the satellite actually is over earth so what you are seeing over here is a website called as into.io.com what this website does is basically it takes some input from uh, from our website where uh, the satellite's uh, details are there and then it converts it into this format and it plots it real time okay so this is a hisis satellite hisis is our isros hyperspectral uh, earth observation satellite uh this is being shown over here real time september 5th maybe 10:30 pm all right so we will be doing this and before actually doing this we need to have some some very slight basics of how and what an orbit is and how this orbit actually does although i have told in my next video using uh diagrams i can show you very easily so this is earth and this is our any orbit just imagine and there's our satellite here okay our satellite so the thing is this orbit is almost constant so this orbit actually does not move so it is if it is like this it stays like this okay it's almost constant only because of some atmospheric drag when i say atmosphere very sparse atmosphere at those sides very number of few number of molecules but there is some drag we need to account for that for accuracies that we need and uh, there are some minor adjustment of the orbit that are done by the organizations so we have to do certain adjustment so this uh, orbit is almost constant but the satellite is moving in the orbit and then the earth is rotating in its orbit because of the satellite movement of in the orbit okay and most of the times uh, the satellite is a polar satellite so the satellite is moving uh, in a certain direction and the earth is moving in a direction so because of this combined uh, movement we get an uh, satellite sub satellite point as a resultant of this we get sub satellite like this so if at all earth was stationary and the only the satellite was moving the satellite movement would have been like this over earth okay but this as such is because of the earth's rotation and also the satellite's revolution around earth okay now one more important thing to understand is that whenever you are seeing it in a map the satellite's plot this point uh, again whenever satellite sets at this south pole it will rise at the north uh, uh, again from like this but this this end is actually this end because both of these are actually connected on the sphere what happens is a uh, plot comes like this sometimes it's, it is not handled okay so it has to be handled like this and also uh, after some passes of the satellite uh, maybe next days pass uh, the sync the sine wave or the wave maybe the this pattern does not actually overlap uh, correctly because there is some phase difference all right so satellite like this it comes some phase difference is there so pure overlap will not come because there is always a phase difference between uh, these things the uh, time period of the satellite and the time period of the earth so always there is a phase difference in each of the orbit okay each of the orbit earth is rotating so it is not same so there is a phase difference so the orbits are like this so now we have got till here now the thing is how do we get this latitude longitude point at all from the satellite's location so uh, we have to understand one more thing here 
it is that the language of the satellite provider okay so now we are actually going into the specifics of how people deal with the satellite's location so for example assume there are three organizations isro nasa and then we we've, we've got esa okay each of them have some satellites for example isis we have uh landsat we have and then we have sentinel from here okay so what happens is isro has its own specific models of controlling the satellite because they do their own research nasa has their own models esa has their own models we cannot force nasa to use our models to control its own satellites all right so there needs to be a common language between each of the scientific organization to tell the satellite uh, tell some details about the satellite all right so they use a small model called as sgp4 which is a relatively inaccurate model because there are thousands of times better accuracy models right uh, right now with all of these organizations yes but as such sgp4 model is a, uh, a little inaccurate model but uh, a pretty good uh, performing model and uh, 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 inputs for the sgp4 are some numbers which we call as tle in this tle there are various information about the structure of the orbit and the atmospheric drag coefficient atmospheric ballistic coefficient for the satellites so using this information an orbit is constructed and then a propagation is done using these drags uh, so to predict where the satellite will be there at any given point in time okay so this if tle they exchange between one and each other a, a common consensus consensus can be bought on the satellites um, whereabouts now important thing again is that there is a uh, agency called as norad us us agency which tracks all of the satellites in the space and this is a list of active elements and these are the latest real time tles these are updated frequently so you can take this url parse the tles from here do your own processing and compute satellite's position at any given point in time so i have just done that and this is the project that i was talking about so if you're really interested in understanding how and what about the orbit of the satellite you can parse the orbit from here as in and i've just taken the url and i'm tracking three of our isro satellites tle from norad remember we have highly accurate models and this is from the tles that is being provided by celest track norad website uh, for sgp4 propagation so isis resosat 2 and resosat 2a i'm just taking them and then i am passing the tles and then i'm doing the processing for from today for each second for 86400 seconds for one day okay from september 5th 2019 to 12 am to again 11:59 pm so that is created in a shape file which we call so what i am doing basically is let me show you so what i did is i took the tle i constructed the orbit okay and then what i am doing is at a given point in time where is my orbit over earth i am just taking one point like that i am taking for each second i am drawing points like this okay like this for each second i'm drawing point and then i'm making one polygon or 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 a line line segment sort of a thing so this two points connected one line one line one line like that i created a line string and then i saved it in a file now you will be seeing that okay so this is a normal indian map and then this is what i created so this is made of 86400 lines and this is the line that i was talking about so this is actually rising here and the map is connected so it went that side but as such this is now one interesting observation we can do is currently hisis is just below india just below kanyakumari so just observe where is the orbit rising because we have seen that the satellite was here when i started the video and it has risen so just below india the satellite so this is the rising orbit so this one yeah so this is the orbit that the satellite is moving right now so it has come from antarctica and then it is moving up and then it will go in this orbit it will set greenland 
North America get down again from down again it will rise in a next orbit this African orbit again so this is how it is done so even you can act for each line string you can actually put a time also over here in the shape file so I did this for two days and I'll just show you so the purple thing over here that you can see is actually this tomorrow's orbit okay and I was talking about the phase difference so see how much phase difference is there so this all this difference is coming because there's some time uh, period difference between both of the um, uh, earth and the satellite and maybe also a direction difference and one more thing for ISIS just like that I have done the same thing for users at 2 for 2 days so this is a small script that I did maybe you will find it in the description below just go through it maybe track some more satellites maybe you can make a web application like this for each satellite everything is on you now the one more interesting idea I will give you this is a 2d map but we have a 3d information okay we are using pyfm library for this you can also do this but we do actually have a 3d information because we already know uh, the semi major axis semi minor axis for all of these things and we also know mean mean position in the target from TLEs so just go through TLE uh, simulate a 3d point and plot it in 3d so make a sphere and plot it in 3d for example I will show you there is a website called a cesium which will allow you plotting in 3d cesium satellite and uh, there is a lot of beautiful demos in cesium that have been done so this I will I was seeing for some satellite yeah so just, just like this you can make 3d plot and then you can just plot the real-time location of the satellite so this might be a good uh, a thing to learn and uh, as you do it you will also get a lot of different views about how a satellite works you can actually put some camera model and make some role picture of the satellite look over different parts of earth and then you will actually know how different satellites like Chandrayaan also works when you do this so this is all about today's video if you found this interesting you can like this video maybe share and subscribe and i'll meet you in my next video with some more interesting things like this to learn and a lot of science to discuss about thank you guys bye